The number of people falling ill in India due to H3N2, a subtype of a virus that causes influenza A, has doubled since the last spike in 2021, according to data from the Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR. With no clear reason inside as to why people are becoming more susceptible to the virus, symptoms of which include fever, cough and fatigue, experts say that low popularity of flu vaccines, comorbidities and allergens in the air can be among the causes. I am Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print and in this video, I will walk you through what we know so far about the virus and what you can do to protect yourself. Although doctors, health department officials and the government have been asking the public not to panic, the prolonged symptoms of the H3N2 virus and increased hospitalizations has people worried. Symptoms of influenza A include fever, cough, breathlessness and wheezing. Experts, meanwhile, are divided on their views on H3N2 virus and the prolonged nature of its symptoms. A section of them feel that people's immunity had lowered during the COVID pandemic since they had remained indoors for nearly three years and sudden exposure to the outside world is making them susceptible to all kinds of viruses. Others believe that the immunity will not be drastically affected that way. According to the ICMR dashboard, the last spike in H3N2 cases, which took place between July to November in 2021, saw a maximum of 30 cases a week. The current outbreak has witnessed as many as 60 diagnosed cases a week. However, this is data from just 27 ICMR laboratories. The government's IDSP, IHIP, that is Integrated Health Information Platform, which casts a wider net with about 100 labs running across the country, that has reported 3,038 confirmed cases of various subtypes of influenza, including H3N2, from the start of the year till March 9. This includes 1,245 cases in January, 1,307 in February, and 486 cases till March. Now, there is not enough data on the genome to understand if this strain is really responsible for severe and prolonged disease in patients. Some doctors suggest that over the last three years, we have been less exposed to influenza viruses because we stayed indoors and wore masks in public. But a leading immunologist, Jay Prakash Mulil, told the print that our immune system has evolved over millions of years, so it cannot have altered that way in just three years. However, due to the pandemic, the uptake of vaccines may have been low, which is why a lot of people who are at risk of the disease are suffering from prolonged symptoms. As with COVID, patients with heart disease, diabetes and chronic lung ailments are more likely to suffer from prolonged symptoms of flu. Experts also note that the flu virus mutates faster than the coronavirus, so it would not be unusual for the currently circulating strain of H3N2 to have genomic changes that cause a longer spell of disease. It's not just H3N2 cases, but the number of people affected by other influenza-like diseases too are on the rise. Data from health facilities indicate that in January this year, a total of 3,97,814 cases of acute respiratory illness or influenza-like illnesses, which are described as ILI, were reported from the country that increased slightly to 4,36,523 during February. In the first nine days of March itself, this number stands at 1,33,412 cases. The corresponding data for admitted cases of severe acute respiratory illness or SARI is 7,041 cases in January, 6,919 cases in February, and 1,866 during the first nine days of March. According to the Health Ministry, young children and old age persons with comorbidities are the most vulnerable groups in the context of seasonal influenza. So far, Karnataka and Haryana have confirmed one death each from H3N2 influenza. The ministry also said that India every year witnesses two peaks of seasonal influenza, one from Jan to March and the other in the post-monsoon season, and that the cases arising from seasonal influenza are expected to decline from March end. Doctors also told the print that factors in the environment such as pollutants and allergens like pollen cranes could be further aggravating symptoms in patients. 
This is in fact a season when allergens in the air are higher than usual. While most healthy individuals have mild to moderate illnesses when infected, young adults with bronchial asthma or allergies that are not well controlled can have severe illness and complications. To arrest the outbreak, it is essential for people to get a diagnosis. Moreover, there is a possibility that you may have a new or undiagnosed allergy that can aggravate the flu symptoms. So one must get themselves checked to prevent severe disease. Moreover, doctors noted that despite being updated every year to cater to the latest strain of influenza virus, flu vaccines are not very popular among Indians. Though the acceptability of flu vaccines have marginally increased in the recent years, especially in the post-COVID era, it is still suboptimal in the public. Meanwhile, if you do have symptoms like cough and fever, it is best to stay at home and if you have to venture out, wear face masks, maintain hand hygiene and social distancing to prevent further spread of the disease. Once again, I am Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. Do follow us on social media for the latest news updates.